partner who's not here, she has a background in journalism, and the idea she brought forward to me was writing and publishing people's autobiographies. So for instance, going after families of old people or old people who want to have their story told and have it published. And this is an idea that we're kicking around. Uh, I'd like any feedback you have as far as how you think we could get these people and uh, if it's feasible. Uh, any ways you figure to market it to get people. Uh, yeah, so that's the idea. It would all involve uh, interviewing over the phone, trying to figure out how it would work as far as logistics, how much time dedicated we're going to do one, plan on doing one for free, and just figuring out the whole system. Then, of course, it would be uh, printed by a blur or something like that, and you can order as many books in the end as you wanted for your family, and we can continue to order all year. And I think that most of the covers are a little bit less than There's a company that does this, we looked into it. Yeah, there's a few. I remember books. watching a video of. Uh, there's it was on their front page, but the video was very moving. It was, it was, oh yeah, it's very cool. a lot of very sentimental yeah. aspects to it. Yeah, there's a, there's a company out of England called uh, uh, Everyday Biographies. That was the one. Okay, there, yeah, so there's a few competitors, but I don't know, I think there's a lot of room for growth. I mean, there's, I think there's a lot of people who want to have their story told. Yeah, it's, it's a big enough market where you know like, it's fine that there's other people doing it because it's so big, like you don't need a lot of penetration to be successful. Yeah. Autobiography. Yeah, so I mean, it's, it's a biography, but I mean, it's, it's written by us, but it's essentially ghost written. It's published by us. I mean, through the, it's written in the sense that we interview the people, we have this recorded, and you're really writing in their own voice. It's what they've said. And through using writers like my partner, we can piece it all together as a nice book. So, who would be your, your client? Like, give me, give me an example of your interview. So I, I, I pictured it as like a person who's 75 years old. Uh, the, their, their family buys them this gift for them for Christmas or their birthday or something. That's something where they can be interviewed and have this story of their life put together in a book. Uh, of course, people can buy it for themselves. Uh, that's that's what it is. Yep. Um, how long would it take you to do uh, typical? Uh, so we're we're going to do one and figure it out. But I mean, we figure. Uh, Two to three hour interview, uh, one hour blocks okay. recorded, uh, and then transcribed. We either do it ourselves or we pay some engineer to do it cheaply. Uh, and then <coughs> once it's templated, because I'm, I'm from a publishing graphic design background, I'm going to figure out how I can template it and make it quite easy as far as the typesetting and the covers. But that'll take some time. But then we're thinking maybe total time for 30 hours or something. How much, how much is your time worth? Well, initially it's worth very little, but... Like, uh, I mean, how much, how much would you ideally want to charge per hour? Right, we're thinking product? we'd like to charge for a book of, with a three-hour interview, something like anywhere between $2,500 and $5,000. Okay, yeah. so that's, that, I think, my recommendation is I think that's a, that's probably what you want to focus on, like price point. If yeah. you approach a family and say, hey, this is going to cost you $5,000, you can be able to tell what your market is. Yeah. yeah. So how do you test for market with this? Have you spoken to anybody who wants to do it? No. So, so that's you know, the proof is in the pudding, right? Is, is, is in the eating of it. So what you need to do is you know, just get to somebody, try it out, just you know, do a chapter or two chapters, yep. see what's the value, what's the feedback. Right. Because you know, there is value in it. The price point is a fantastic point because the two, two and a half, five thousand is a lot of money. But again, you know, there's a market. I think so we're actually a lot cheaper than the other people that I've seen doing it. Right. So but it's it a lot of money, price. but when you think about the age of these <laughs> people and then if it's across the whole family pay for it, it's right. right. yes, so, 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 so the value and it's also the ego aspect of it, you know, people like to do it because of that. Right. Um, and that's why there's a market. Um, so the idea is, you know, just to try it out with somebody. Because you don't have any technology required to do it, and no. nothing really to set up. It's pretty much your time and your skills. Our skills are already there. So I don't think there's anything to really stop you from doing that. And once you do that, that's your test market. And this is something I think extremely social. 
some technology social and social social. You know, some people like it, they will talk about it. It's very viral. I imagine if you've got a, one group of, uh, yeah, they would tell all their friends. Right, like because these people live in communities that are very similar, right? So they're spending $5,000. They, they talk about the people that will spend $5,000. So, yeah, I would suggest you know, that might be the best way to approach it. Great. I remember uh, National Public Radio did this thing where they put boots. Um, sound recording booths in Central Station and had people go in there and just tell their stories. Um, if, if you ever thought that like, you wanted to scale and beyond um, be, what your ability is to you know, listen to these things, you could just like throw these booths into nursing homes and stuff and just right. have people tell their stories and then you go back and edit it or have a team of people edit it. But it's just a, a way to sort of extend um, what you can do yourself, right? Um, and also hit like higher concentration. I heard of a company, I believe it was called One Story or Story One, I think it was out of New York. And what they focused on was the similar model of getting people's stories documented. I think they sold resources and taught people how to do the interviews. Okay. So they'd give the list of questions, they'd send out a package, oh, yes. which was basically your storytelling package. Yeah. And you know, if you had a grandparent or something, you wanted to find out everything about them, you would order this package, which was in like the couple hundred dollar price point range. Um, you would figure out how like the best way to get someone's story and then you would re interview and record it. Um, I don't know if they do this, but you know, a step after that is maybe sending it back into you guys and you take it from there. Maybe a lot of the enjoyment comes from the actual person who gets to interview them. Um, you know, customizing the list of questions that they want to get out of it. Um, so I don't know how that company works afterwards, if they just get their own stories from there, if they actually go and transcribe it themselves. But I sort of know what you're talking There's companies that have, they send out packages mm -hmm. where it's like a memory jogger, and it's a list of questions, and then afterwards you have this, all these answers, and essentially the little person can pass it on to someone, and it's all there. We take it a little bit step further, and it's, it's an actual book, it's a physical book, it's nicely bound, et cetera. But yeah, I mean, maybe that's something they do. I guess two questions. Um, how much information can you gather in three hours? Yeah. And how long would the book be? Yeah, so that's because I, I asked this because I took a took a history class and the professor was like, go do a, a history thing with someone. So I interviewed my grandma for an hour and I came out with three page paper. Okay. Right? So and mind you the communication was a bit difficult because we had I spoke in my second language, but um, how would you be able to transcribe three hours into a book? My, my friend Alicia, she who's a journalist and expert, she says that she's had people, she interviews a person for an hour and they're absolutely sick of talking to them for an hour. She says that she can cover a lot. Now, that's really more her expertise, and you're right, I, that's something you really want to test out and do with a person, do a full book, and see how long it really takes. So you're right, uh, not really. Yeah, I mean, and why why only like print a book? Why not uh, maybe an online or, or uh, real time updating thing? And what Colin just said, that may be a good thing. Like, why only focus on 50, 60 plus, or not also 20, 30 plus, and maybe as a test case or a pilot basis to start with a just tell the life story up to that point. Mm -hmm. so, like, target something or target something. Because uh, if you go like, uh, career, CV, those kind of job uh, uh, situations. The CV, these are like kind of broken. So many people have, today, people have many kind of interests. So that may be a good way to fast tell them and say, that, okay, here is your history. Because not uh, um, everyone is good at writing. So if you take their, their uh, kind of life history, interview them, and then do that as a tell uh, their history, as like a cover history, something like that. So the history telling. And then uh, maybe keep that on an uh, ongoing basis. They can update. Uh, so, so you will have like a monthly fee, recurring, or yeah. I mean that's one you can probably figure out. But why focus on your own? Uh, first of all, on your own print, or first of all, on the white pieces. Okay. I like print book. I like print book. No, that thing is but yeah, yeah, not but not only. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I think that a real book has a real value. And uh, well, I don't know. That's what it has. Yeah, I was going to say, um, it's one of the other things you want to know is how to 
Yeah. Do you want to reach the families or do you want to reach the seniors themselves? Yeah, it, it depends. I feel like if you're going after the seniors themselves, it's really something that they want to have. And in the other case, it's the family giving a gift of something that uh, they want for their, their own members as well. So. Okay. Genealogy sites, seniors' homes, adult lifestyle communities, golf courses, um, AARP. Um, that is easy. So, anything that's affiliated with seniors.